here's what happened for those that are. I remember I was 12 years old and I was kind of puzzled by it. I'm still, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm 59 and I'm puzzled by it now. So on this date in, in 1973, I think this was the first spring training that Tim Slimer owned the team. Well, 73, right? Had to be. He, he, I, but I don't know if he bought the. It might have been. Uh, yeah, it might have been his first spring training. So imagine what he thought. There are, there are two Yankee teammates, two pitchers, and they were pretty good pitchers, Fritz Peterson and Mike Kekich. Now, for the younger listeners that we have, we, a lot of our audience is young. They, they might not have ever heard this. You'll be flawed. You, 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 your jaws are going to open up right now. Both Peterson and Kekich publicly announced that they traded families. They've traded families, including their wives, the kids, and the dogs. And there's a great Twitter follow, Baseball by B Smile, that reminded me that this is the date that it happened. And it actually worked out for Fritz Peterson, Don. He and Mike Kekich's wife and kids, they stayed together. Kekich and Peterson's wife ended up breaking up, and it, it ruined families. Sure. But this would be considered, I mean, imagine, take any two players you want. Oh, and they announced today that they've traded their wives and their kids and their families and their dogs. Wait, it's wait, outrageous. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, what does that mean, trade kids, though? Fritz Peterson. The fathers just switched houses. They switched houses. So they st what about their own children, though? They, didn't, they, they still, I'm sure, had to care for their own children. Yeah, but their children, like Fritz Peterson's wife and kids, were now living, living with Mike Kekich. And Mike Kekich's wife and kids were now living with Fritz Peterson. And they announced it publicly, and I... As a 12-year-old kid, I was like, what? And even as a 59-year-old, I was going, what? And why did they announce it publicly? I guess because people would have found out. Yeah, because I guess they were going to be just out publicly yeah. with new wives in a different... They were like, wait a minute, that's not How your family. How much were people talking about? Oh, these, my goodness. No, 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 before it happened. Oh, I don't know. Because it, it, was, it wasn't that sort of media then. And these players are not particularly popular. Oh, no? they were. They were. Fritz Peterson and Mike Kekich were part of the Yankees starting rotation. Now, it'd be, how, it'd be like if you said, oh, oh Tanaka... And Garrett Cole. Okay. Now, but how, neither was Garrett Cole. What? But no one there was Garrett Cole. No, nobody was that great, but Fritz right. Peterson was a really good pitcher. It would be like Jay Happ and Tanaka. But the 73 oh, okay. Yankees weren't weren't very good, so you know your one-two starters aren't going to be the one-two starters of the 2020 Yankees. But how old were the kids? I don't know. Because if were they young. were just infants, then they, maybe they wouldn't know any better. Now, I, I don't know why to this day, in 2020, that this has not been made a major motion picture. Oh, because I, it is almost unbelievable. Like, it just doesn't make any sense. Now, um, who, um, what's the show that you were on? It's on Channel 7, Peter, at uh, 10 o'clock. Why is her name escaping me? You were on to talk about Tam the Grammys. Tamron Hall. Tamron, Tamron Hall. Hall. And I like the show, and I watch it occasionally. Good for you. She did a spot on how, like, it's, a, it's making a comeback. Like, wife swapping has become, or, you know, bringing in somebody else to the relationship. or, But... That came across as, yeah, it happens as, like, an experience, like, for a night. Right, not, not training lives. But what makes this so unique, and I've never heard another example of it, where you're just trading families. Not, it, it's not just for the, you know, experience or for the night. It's like, I'm changing my life. I'm going to take your family, you're going to take my family, and we're going to go about our business. I, I, honestly, Michael, I've never heard, Peter, have you ever heard it ever happen in music or in, in Hollywood? I've never... Listen, you hear of people leaving someone for someone else that the person knew in some oh, way. Oh, of course. But this was a swap. And having they an open did. marriage. This is beyond open marriage. And their teammates. It wasn't like from other teams. Because I've heard stories like way back when, teams in the same city, that the wives would hook up with the players when because when you have teams in the same city, and you could figure out what I'm talking about, one team's out of town. Right. And the wives stay home. And the, the the husbands of the other team would go and be with the, the you know the what they would they would cheat on their families with the wives of the other players. But that but that's open marriage, and I think that happens it, a lot know. in professional sports. Right. But the fact that it would be like players from the same city, teams from the same city. Well, I guess it was just convenience. <laughs> but uh, you don't know what's worked out. I mean, you said cheating. Maybe it wasn't cheating. Maybe this was just the way that it was an open marriage. But this is beyond open marriage. It's swapping families. How, it's is not this a, how is this not like a book? It, I mean, the whole thing is a book to me. It's crazy. It's, that's insane. Truly insane. 
Well, has there ever, ever been like a, a, a doc about it? I don't, know, I don't even know if there was a doc about it. At least it. a 30 for 30. Now, oh, I know these aren't huge names. I they take don't a 10 resonate. for 10. Even for Yankee fans, Michael, even though they were good pitchers at the time, even Yankee Nation, those names do not resonate now, beyond the store. I'm going to tell, tell you why you should like Fritz Peterson even more. Okay. Fritz Peterson, Don, uh, John Sterling used to do play-by-play. -play. Before he did the Islanders, there was another team Long in Long Island Ducks, right? Well, no, no. Uh, the New York, did he do the New York Raiders and the New WHA? York okay. You know who his color announcer was? Who? Fritz Peterson. Really? Yeah. Why? Did I he play Peter, hockey? I don't know. He loved hockey, and I guess he knew it, but th that was John's color announcer. It's hockey, man. And both these guys are still with us. I believe so. So let's get them on. Why are we waiting for everybody else to tell the story? We should let's, tell the let's, story. That's Don, best point you've ever made. And it would make for a great 30 for 30. It really would. I, I think that the last I heard, Fritz Peterson is not doing that great, but I, a couple of years ago he was at Yankee Old-Timers Day. So I know he's still with us. 78. 78 years old. Now, and Keckett is 74. Right. So that's, Steve, old, that's old enough to run for president. Steve Burney, right, Yeah. Uh, who, who does such a great job booking the guests on center stage, he just texted me, said, it's called The Trade, and it has been in development with Ben Affleck and Matt Damon to star in the roles of Peterson and Kekic. Well, there you go. But we need a doc. That's what Peter's saying. That's just a movie. No, I want to, I want to know how far along in development this is. I've, I guess it's been in development a while, but it hasn't gotten the proper funding. Anyway, think about that, everybody. We'll get back to your Nick calls. But 47 <laughs> years ago today... Something uh, that's the thing that I find amazing is that the time frame of 47 years has not it, dimmed the outrageousness. There's, of there's, that. An, there's an article about the the trade, right? And Affleck, uh, Damon, and a director in 2014. So that's a it long may, development. It may not be happening. It, that's what it says. I think like. you step in and, and make this happen. Yeah, you restart what a it. story. This could be the first thing with your new production company. It's a good idea. Yeah. Mage Productions. The Imagine trade. a trade between one man and another. Sleeping with the other's wife. Sleeping in another man's bed. Sex. Using another man's bar of soap. The nudes are back. Smelling that man. Being near that man. Giving cheer Cheerios to that man's children. This is the story of Kekic and Fritz. That's all I got. Now, do you bring in a lawyer? Is there something that has to get worked out? I don't know. There's so many well, things. Well, yeah, there's a lot that has to get worked out. The lead, you have to, I assume there were actual divorces and remarriages, correct? The great Karen Veenstra asked a very good question. How were those kids not traumatized for life? Didn't they miss their dads? I don't understand. No, the only way I think it would work is if they were infants. If they were like three months old, I guess they would be none the wiser, right? Can you get on that, please, uh, Andrew? Can you find out how old the kids were at the time of the, uh, the trade? I'm sure Wikipedia has all the answers. All right, so we'll be back. We're investing.